I was born and raised in San Francisco. My mom is an immigrant from Japan and my dad is from Minnesota. So I grew up in a very vibrant, bilingual, bicultural household. Growing up, I always thought I wanted to be a doctor. I went to Stanford, I was pre-med, but ultimately decided that wasn't for me. After college, I got a job at a consulting firm working in e-commerce. I really fell in love with retail and I think in particular apparel retail. I felt like there was no technology that really was being applied to help make the category better. At Stitch Fix, we take this idea of personal styling and we make it accessible to all. We get to know our clients through a style profile which you can fill out online. Based on that, our stylists are able to get to know you and send you products specifically curated just for you to try on in the comfort of your home. Simply keep what you want, send back what you don't want, and get this great personal experience for the whole household. Combining data science and styling was really not something that people had done before. Fundraising was really difficult. Over 50 venture investors said no to me. Being a female business leader in Silicon Valley, you don't always feel like your voice is heard. It's really male dominated. I wasn't always obvious where people thought like, oh yes, of course she's gonna be a public company CEO someday. In early 2011, we got our first commitment from a venture investor, Steve Anderson, and that was really when we were off to the races. The stock has opened, this crowd is excited. You can see the tuna leg over there with the crew. In 2017, we took the company public. At the time, I was the youngest female founder CEO to take a company public ever. I was up there with my family and my son, who was one at the time, and I think it was really a symbol of what's possible being a parent and being able to prioritize parenthood and your business at the same time. Stitch Fix today is a company with over a billion dollars in sales. We have over three million clients across the whole country, and we have over 6,000 employees. I've watched Shark Tank for years, and I love that it showcases all kinds of entrepreneurs. It's such an important part of helping people to see that entrepreneurship is not available to only a select few. What I love about entrepreneurship is the optimism. You're believing in something that lots of people don't believe in, and you are taking a point of view that's not a common point of view. And that optimism is super infectious, really energizing. It's an environment I love being in.